Suzanne. What is that save us stuff? Oh, Kate, I thought you'd never ask. So what's that save us stuff today and is all about Camp on a Rainbow and adult camp at Camp on a Rainbow. And more to the purpose, save a staff at adult camp at Camp on a Rainbow. Before I leave this shot, I want to point out that this welcome sign for camp is on a big window of a beautiful cedar and glass building, which used to be part of the SAVA office in San Rafael, California. We needed a little overflow space and we created a beautiful meeting room out of this cedar and glass module called a Martin module made by hog farmer Martin Mitchell. And after we used it in San Rafael for five years, Camp on a Rainbow bought it from SAVA and moved it to camp. That coincided with when SAVA Foundation moved from San Rafael to Berkeley. So that's the deal about camp. We hear a lot about Black Oak Ranch, the location of Camp Winter Rainbow. We hear a lot about the teepee circle. Here's part of that circle. Each teepee sleeps 10 children and one or two counselors. Uh, however, when adults come, it tends to be more like four or five adults per teepee. Now, the first thing you do when you arrive at Camp Winter Rainbow Adult Camp is you head to the amazing costume room. And there's a, there's a code of honor. When you find a costume that you really love, an outfit that you really love, you put it together, you hang it on a hanger and no one moves it. Now let's not forget, not only do we have uh, the accoutrement here, but very importantly are the clown shoes at the bottom. So someone has staked out a claim on these clothes for dressing up during adult camp at Camp Winter Rainbow. Speaking of adult camp dress up, this is the SAVA group who was at camp this particular year. I'm hearkening back to 2010. And so we have Ruth, we have Amanda Marchung, Chunduk Tenzing, there's me, there's Bonnie Hartley with our Native American community programs and Donna Ryan, who for so many years was with development and GOS and our executive director at the time, Jack Blank. So we all got dressed up for the opening tea at Camp on a Rainbow Adult Camp. Camp runs all week, uh, one full week, usually in June, we were able to go for a few days together. Everybody gets to do their thing. Here's Ruth Tamora putting the most beautiful artistic touches onto a parasol. She inspired 10 or 15 people to do the same. This parasol and its accompanying other dozen were used as part of a beautiful dance later in the week on one of the many performance stages. Of course, you don't have to perform doing a dance or singing. You can just hop on a pair of stilts. And as you may know, at Camp Winter Rainbow, you can stay on your stilts as long as you want to because they have special drinking fountains that are positioned an extra six feet up in the air. So you don't have to come down off your stilts to get a drink of water. Of course, you'll come down for certain needs. Everything's available, of course, trapeze, and Donna really enjoyed her trapeze that particular year. There's a lot of adult entertainment happening at adult camp at Camp on a Rainbow, including Kick the Can release party. Kick the Can means con, movie, uh, film festival. So we all dress up for the con, Kick the Can film festival one night and we see some original films. So here we have a bevy of Seva gals. Ruth going to into the con, kick the con film festival tent is carrying the top secret results of who's gonna win the film contest for that year. Donna Ryan is dressed uh, as a mermaid. It goes with a theme to a film that year. And I'm dressed as Mira Nair, the director of Mississippi Masala, A Monsoon Wedding, and so many other beautiful films. So we graced the Kick the Con Film Festival that night at Camp Winter Rainbow. A big feature, though, that gets you up early in the morning is when Wavy Gravy does his morning reading. And it's something not to be missed. 
you get up early, brush your teeth, get a cup of coffee and come over to the rainbow stage for Wavy to read whatever occurred to him that morning. It's a beautiful reading of maybe 30 minutes while everybody kind of mm, wakes up. And finally, it's a lot of fun. So uh, we stayed in teepees. Here's Chunduk just getting into one of the teepees. And I just thought this would be a great way to end this week's What's That Save Us Stuff. Hey, thanks, Suzanne. That was so amazing. There's a lot more where that came from. Stay tuned on our social media channels for more.